So one of the most anticipated games of the year is Hogwarts Legacy, an open world game set in the Harry Potter universe. And as a huge Harry Potter fan, I've been waiting for a game like this since, well, since I was 11, waiting for my Hogwarts acceptance letter. Is my Hogwarts letter here yet? But recently I've been very excited to play certain games that were maybe overhyped and then disappointed when they came out. For example, Cyberpunk, Fallout, No Man's Sky, even Final Fantasy XV, and I'm like the biggest Final Fantasy fan ever. At least I am if you're only counting Final Fantasy X. And sure, lots of these flopped on release, but have since had extra updates that have made them much, much better. But I really want Hogwarts Legacy to come out of the gate strong. I love Neville Longbottom, but I can't give everything five years to have a glow up like he has in the Order of the Phoenix. So with that said, here is my wish list for things that I think will make Hogwarts Legacy a success. So Hogwarts Legacy supposedly lets you make decisions that impact the game. And on the surface, that sounds amazing. I want to shape the wizarding world based on who I decide to help and what I decide to do. However, in the past, I've played games that just give the illusion of choice. But no matter what you choose, the game ultimately plays out in the same way. Maybe it just tweaks a line of dialogue here and there. And those games make it feel like a gimmick, whereas I want Hogwarts Legacy to actually change based on the decisions I make. I want to impact the story. Even if they gave us fewer decisions to make, but the ones we made really made a difference, I wouldn't mind that trade-off. I just think it would be so cool to see like a ripple effect across the wizarding world, or at least Hogwarts, based on the things that I decide to do. And not only that, but this hugely increases replayability. With Hogwarts Legacy being entirely single player and offline, which I'm fine with by the way, we need a reason to want to replay this game. If making different decisions forms a different narrative each time, that means I will play it through as many times as I can. Let's be honest, most of us are just excited to live out our wizarding world dreams. The life at Hogwarts we always wanted, but never got. Like a sad group of muggles and squibs. We want to roam around Hogwarts and interact with other wizards. I honestly think I'd play this game just roaming around Hogwarts role-playing without actually having much of a plot. And so because we want to immerse ourselves in the world so much, we really need to be sold on whether it feels real and alive. I want NPCs to have an actual life. If I decide to find a random Hufflepuff and follow them around the castle, I want them to actually actually have a life and be doing things. I want to be able to follow them to class or to the common room, or see them meet up with other Hufflepuffs and hang around by the lake. And I want to see them interact with things, you know, talking to the portraits, looking at the hourglasses for house points. I'm pretty sure the new Grand Theft Autos were good at that. They gave their NPCs routines. They'd have a schedule to be going to certain places and doing certain things. And that's what I want. I'm very concerned with how the trailer suggested the main narrative of the game will be about wizards trying to stop goblins from rising up against oppression. In keeping with the decision-making point that I made earlier, I'm kinda hoping we can help them stand up to wizards, and maybe assist them in furthering the rebellion, and equally I'm hoping we can release the house elf that seems to be given to us. I'm not comfortable having a literal slave in the game. So this comes in with my living, breathing, wizarding world. I am desperate for Hogwarts Legacy to have a Skyrim level of side quests. A compelling primary campaign is important, sure, but I also want to take my time with the game. I want to explore all the nooks and the crannies and find cool things. I want to get to know the side characters. If there's a day where I can only play for like an hour, I still want something I can sink my teeth into, because that's a problem I had with Cyberpunk. If I only had an hour to play, I would watch one cutscene and I'd be playing for about five minutes and then it'll be time for me to go. So I want to be able to dip into a side quest from time to time. Ultimately, I kind of just want to feel like the world is alive. I don't just want a couple of find and retrieve missions that otherwise center around a primary narrative you're being ushered down. I feel like while the game is being played and the main story is going on, other characters should have their lives unfolding too. And I kind of want to be a part of them. I also want a good, compelling storyline that I can get lost in. And I don't just mean a good narrative with interesting, expansive locations. I want our character to go through some really exciting growth and development. I want to finish the game and look back on things and think, wow, look how far we've come. I want to fall in love with the supporting characters, the people around Hogwarts, the staff, your pets. And I want to hate the villains, I want to be scared of them, but I also want them to have good motivations. I want them to be well-rounded and maybe even morally grey. Basically. I just want the game to be written better than the Fantastic Beasts series is written. Hopefully I'm not asking too much. With the game being so focused on single player, I just, I want it to pull me in with the story in the way that the original books did. 
So combat can be a big sticking point in a lot of games. The combat in Hogwarts Legacy needs to feel immersive. It needs to be true to the world and rewarding. There's no point in having a great story if the moment you go into combat you just get pulled from that moment. In the trailer, and I'm trying not to judge it too much because I know it wasn't a finished article when they showed it to us, but the enemies seem to wait to attack you one at a time. It didn't feel natural or high stakes enough. That said, I also don't want the spammy shoot 'em up feel of the previous Harry Potter games that we've had. I understand it's going to be a really hard balance for the developers to strike, but I am so hopeful they get it right. And that's basically it for what I want from Hogwarts Legacy. I say that as though I understand game development and what I've asked for is like no big deal at all. It basically all comes back to a couple of things. I want to feel immersed in the world and I want to be compelled by the story. If villains are a big deal for you in games, movies and books, you might want to check out this video I made all about Voldemort and his five biggest mistakes from the Harry Potter series.